Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we shall be looking at question from June 2019 consisting of 4.75 marks. The question is, consider the functional, this is the given functional j of y, subject to the given conditions y at 0 is equal to 1 and y at 1 is equal to 2. So these are the constant boundary conditions given to us and our functional contains only y dash, right? Then they are asking, there exists an extremal y, they are asking whatever is the extremal, whether this belong to this class, or this class, or this class, or this class, right? right? So let us first calculate what is this uh, extremal y corresponding to the given functional along with these boundary conditions. So we, you all know the Euler-Lagrange equation has this form, fy minus d dx of f y dash is equal to 0. Now, what is our f? f is given to be y dash square minus y dash q, right? So, what would be f y? f y would be 0, the partial derivative of f with respect to y. And what would be f y dash? So, it would, be, it would be equal to 2 y dash minus 3 y dash square, right? So, we have substituted the values over here. So let us solve this. Let us differentiate this term. So we would get minus 2y double dash minus 6y dash and then the derivative of y dash would be y double dash. This, this whole term is equal to 0. Now we can factorize this term. We will get minus 2y double dash and the other factor would be 1 plus 3y dash. This is equal to 0. Now two factors, the product of two factors is equal to 0. If one of these factors factor is 0. So either y double dash could be 0 or you have 1 plus 3 y dash is equal to 0. So only one of these could be possible. So suppose uh, let us try to solve this one first. So it, it uh, gives me y dash is equal to minus 1 upon 3 and after performing the integration you will get y is equal to minus 1 by 3 x plus some constant b. Right. So now you have the boundary condition y at 0 is equal to 1 and y at 1 is equal to 2. So let us substitute these conditions onto this. So when you put this condition, you will get b is equal to 1. And when you put the other condition y at 1 is equal to 2, you will get b is equal to 7 by 3. So now we cannot have two values. So therefore, this form is not possible. So that means this 0, uh, the 1 plus 3 y dash is equal to 0 is not possible. So this implies y double dash is 0, right? So let us integrate this. So uh, when we integrate it twice, we'll get something like this. y is equal to dx plus e, where this d and e both are constants and which we will determine using the given conditions. So let us first evaluate uh, this constant. So substitute x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 1. So we'll get e is equal to 1. And moreover, using the second condition, when you substitute x is equal to 1, you'll get y is equal to 2. So and e is 1. So d finally is 1. So ultimately, what is our extremal? Our extremal is y is equal to x plus 1. And they're asking about these classes. So what are these classes? Let us first uh, see what are these classes. So the C1 over the closed interval AB. This C represent continuously differentiable and 1 represents the order of the derivative. And the, uh, whatever functions are uh, from this class, they, uh, their domain is this closed interval A to B. So functions whose first derivatives are continuous fall into this category. So C2 over the closed interval a b this is that class of functions where the sec second order derivatives are continuous so all the derivatives up to second order derivatives are continuous right so here the first derivatives as well as second derivatives are continuous so similarly we uh, can go on like this you can have c3 class uh, defined over the closed interval a b similarly c5 over the closed interval a b now what does this class mean it means that this class has all the all those functions whose first second third fourth and fifth derivatives exist and they are also continuous so there is also a class known as c infinity class uh, over the closed interval a b 
where this class contains all those functions whose every derivative up to infinity that means every derivative of the function exists and it is continuous so these are all about the classes so uh, let us see our function our function extreme l y is equal to x plus 1 this being a polynomial this is a continuous function so this function is itself continuous so let us look at the derivative of this functions so you have y dash which is equal to 1 being constant it is continuous so y double dash is 0 being again this is continuous and when you take the nth derivative when you keep on taking the derivative of this function you'll get you'll only get 0 and this is a constant function you all know that so all of the derivatives of this functions are continuous so now we have to judge where this y belongs to which of these classes right so clearly from here you say that uh, you see that c1 uh, from the uh, it belongs to this class c1 0 to 1 because its first derivative is continuous it it exists and it is continuous so yes this is true moreover you see that this uh, f function itself the first derivative as well as the second derivative are continuous so this belongs to this class also so the, these options are correct right so uh, and what does this mean it means that y belongs to the class c1 but and at the same time y does not belongs to the class c2 right and what does this mean it means that y belongs to the class c that means it is it itself is a continuous function but it does not belongs to the class c1 that means its first derivative is not continuous so clearly you see that this is not the case and this is also not the case Moreover, if you want to have a uh, like to have a complete picture of what these classes are, so this class C, C one, it contains all, it contains all functions whose first derivatives exist and are. continuous right so this uh, and c2 class is what whose uh, the function itself its first derivative and its second derivative is continuous so this class obviously contain the uh, the class in which the first derivatives are continuous right so uh, c1 class uh, is contained in c2 class similarly c2 class is contained in c3 class and so on so c infinity class contain all these classes so this is the biggest of all so uh, you have the answer with you so option c and option d these are the correct option well that is it for this video thank you